Hi, this is Joe Ramsey. This is Rochelle McKee and Ben Otero here on Movie Mania. And uh, we're talking about uh, this week's zombie run. Big zombie run, Running Scared. I'm very excited. Uh, Rochelle, I wanted to ask you a quick uh, question before uh, we start talking about the zombie run a little bit. I was wondering your favorite zombie movie or uh, movie series. My favorite zombie movie or series. That's hard to pinpoint. Um, I love all, well, most of the Resident Evil movies. I love Shaun of the Dead, Absolutely. Zombie Land, and of course, you know, Romero's originals. You can't beat those. Absolutely, yes. We're going to review Day of the Dead in a little bit here. And uh, that's uh, all amazing choices. I have to say, Shaun of the Dead and Zombie Land, two of my favorite movies mm -hmm. of all time. Um, uh, surprisingly positive reviews for uh, Day of the Dead, not surprisingly, but Day of the Dead was. It wasn't awesome. popular when it first came out. It, people, it took a while for people to start appreciating it. That's true. Yeah, first George came out, Romero, a lot of man. People overlooked it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, the race, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to see this happen. This it's is going to be, be cool. so cool. Yeah. Um, it's going to take place March 15th at Harder's Park on Saturday, right? Correct. And uh, there's, it's what, it, what's the race going to consist of? The race is a 5K run that has obstacles uh, awesome. throughout it. There are some you crawl under, some that you climb over. Um, I can't assure that you won't get wet on right. some of them. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of that. And, of course, you have zombies lunging and that's chasing. So cool. and that's always fun. Coming yes. after yeah. you during the whole thing. I'm interested. I've been hearing a lot about the makeup that's going to be behind it, and I'm, I'm excited to see some of the zombies, you know, full makeup there. Uh, and I also want to talk about the zombie bash. I was a little bit curious about that. Can you give me some details? After the run, there's going to be an after party, mm -hmm. and we're going to have lots of different games, um, music, prizes, lots of big raffle items that um, you can try to win, autograph movie memorabilia and such like that. Awesome, awesome. And uh, I've also heard of some special guests. There you know? is. Uh, Mike Christopher. He played the Harry Krishna zombie from the movie Dawn of the Dead. That's so cool. The 1978 version. And um, he's coming and is going to come in his full Harry Krishna costume and sign autographs and take pictures for free with everybody and anybody that wants to. Oh, that sounds so cool. amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so ready to see that. Uh, now, I noticed um, uh, starts at 8 a.m., correct? Uh, this, the registration, uh, is it still going on? It is still going on. You can register at active.com or you can go to the Gulf Coast Children's Advocacy Center's website and click on our events page and you can register through there too. Very cool, awesome. Um, the registration does it ends at 7.30 a.m., I believe? The day of the race. The day of the race. I should tell you, though, we have a special going on right now that um, it's only $35 until March 12th. Oh, So okay. if anybody Discounted. wants to register now, I now may the attempt time. it. I may not, I I may not make it to it, the yeah. end of the race, but I may You'll attempt it. You'll get there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, very cool. Um, now, I noticed that... Uh, uh, I believe Kevin Smith had something to do with the zombie run. Is that something? That is true. He donated a lot of autographed Monroeville zombies, uh, memorabilia stuff, some hoodies, and some of his action figures. So cool. And it's all autographed, and it will be in the raffle, too. Awesome, awesome. That's Very amazing. excited. A lot of cool prizes, a lot of, uh, a lot of exercise. And <laughs> yeah, that matters. When yeah. you're, you're going to attempt to outrun zombies, you've got to be fit. So go to the run, you'll get there. That's right. Wasn't that, uh, I believe that was in Zombieland, one of the yeah, roles? Cardio. 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 Cardio, that's right, yeah. I understand there's going to be a prize for the anybody who is in the race, correct? Anybody that um, completes the race will have a T-shirt at the end of the race. And if they arrive to the finish line with at least one of their flags, their T-shirt will say, I survive. If they arrive with no flags, it says infected. That will be me. Yeah. Yeah, that, I'm, inf I'm going to have like four infected shirts. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just trailing behind. I'm going to steal somebody else's flags and still get infected. All right, very cool. Well, uh, the zombie run, Running Scared, uh, like I said, is going to be on Saturday, March 15th at Harder's Park, correct? Correct. And all uh, the, the running proceeds go to the Children's Advocacy Center. Yes. Very cool. Now, once again, uh, how, do you, how do you register in case nobody's registered or in case somebody hasn't registered yet? You can register on active.com or at the Gulf Coast Children's Advocacy Center's website under the events page, or you can even register the day of the race. Awesome. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, Rochelle McKee, it was awesome to have you here. Thank you. Uh, we're, I'm totally excited yeah, for it. We're, I can't even... We're, we're going to be running right there right now. We're going to have the race to get to the Let's race. walk there now. Yeah. All right. And this has been Otero, and this has been Movie Mania.
Hi, this is Joe Ramsey, and this is Ben Otero, and uh, we're going to be reviewing World War Z. Oh, I hate this movie so much. Really? I really do. It, it, it was not that great. I, I was floored when I watched it, because I kept hearing, I mean, a lot of people were like, oh, so it's many good, good things, so many good reviews. Yeah. Yes. I kept hearing it was going to be too tense. A lot of people couldn't watch it in the theater because it was too tense, but it was, I, I did not feel any intensity. No. I Am Legend had more t- intensity yeah, than that. Did, yeah. Actually, yeah. Um, Brad Pitt. Uh, it could have been anybody. I felt exactly. It could have. It, it was so interchangeable. Uh, they could have put Nicolas Cage in the role. I personally, would I would have that. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> they could have put Matt Damon. Anybody. He played it the very generic action hero, which yeah. I would. I would do want to bring up because this movie was not a zombie movie. No, it was it, a thriller. It was an action thriller. It was. It, it had zombies in it. It had the elements for a zombie yeah. film, but it, it treated it so much like a, like a so regular tame. action movie. Yeah. Yeah. It was zombies. No. It was very strange. Um, it was just very strange because. Yeah, I, that it was the the book. I read the book, and it was so zombie centric, and it, it was more about yeah. the zombies. Well, as see, that's the thing. Like the book is centered on zombies. This, it's it's like a whole different animal. It, it's it was, not even the same thing. Almost, it was as, focused more yeah. on the survival. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's actually what I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that the ending? Uh, mm. uh, I'm not. We're not going to spoil that part because yeah. it is kind of a big thing, but. What did you think about it? Like the, the I was w- underwhelmed. Underwhelmed to I was say the greatly least. Greatly underwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, the way they ended up curing it made no sense to me. I, I, honestly, yeah. How does that even work? Like when they get it, what, what do they do with it? Yeah. The last shot of Brad Pitt. I, I realized. I'm like, wait a minute. Is this the end of the movie? Yeah. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. What's they going didn't, on? They didn't fix anything. Yeah. It's you know. it's the same thing that we saw from the beginning. Yeah. Nothing and changed. I, I'm gonna commend them because it was original. The way they did it, but it still made yeah, zero I sense guess. to me. But it's like originality isn't always good. No, it's if not. it's not broke, don't fix it. If well, if it's if it didn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> but uh, I, it was very very uh, not great in plot, not great yeah. in acting. So the action scenes were were a little interesting. Like the the, the plane was cool. To, to that was it. a cool scene. It was. Some of the it had action. a little tensity in that when they're stacking up luggage. To, exactly. I don't know what that was supposed to do. But I, I guess they were just blocking it. They were making sure that nobody could see them or something, but I, I guess, mean, it, so, they yeah. broke that rule immediately. Um, it, it, it's something that whenever you're watching it, the, mm-hmm. like I said, the action looked good. The uh, the scene in Israel. That was really good. Yeah, that was that was probably my favorite part of the movie, I was if su- at all. Yeah, I was very surprised they had um, a little bit of blood in that scene. I was surprised about that with yeah, the little bit. Israeli woman getting her arm chopped off. Yeah. I was shocked at that, seeing a PG-13 movie. Yeah, I, they, they they did kind of push it a little bit yeah, for PG-13. Did. It wasn't that bad, but I mean, yeah. it was. I understand where you're coming from with that. Uh, so if, if you had to really give any final thoughts to this, uh, mm. any last-minute reviews. Don't watch it. Save your money. <laughs> Watch I Am Legend. Or right, right. Uh, so, uh, any, a number? I'm curious. A number, number. Uh, a three. Three? I really did not like this movie. Okay. No, I, I, I'm not gonna go with that aspect of mm-hmm. it. I, I don't. I didn't hate no, it yeah, as much yeah. as you did. Um, I'm probably gonna give it a six. Okay. Be, I, I, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. It's one of those movies that, like, as you're watching it. Uh, you're like this looks amazing, but it was low on plot. It's almost like Ender's Game, which is why I think I. But had Ender's to, Game had a plot, and even if it game. didn't finish, it's still you're like, what's going to happen? And that's true, and it, it's that's why I, I rated Ender's Game higher than World yeah, War Z. Yeah, is there, World really, there's no uh, end. Game. I didn't there's like no, World War Z. I yeah, mean, yeah, it wasn't that great, but there, I just not bad, not bad action scenes yeah. for me. So I'm going to give it a six. All right. So um, anyway, this has been Movie Mania. This is uh, Ben Otero, Joe Ramsey. That was World War Z. Hi, this is Joe Ramsey. This is Ben Otero. And uh, we're going to be talking about Day of the Dead, the classic George Romero movie. And uh, really the plot, I would say, is uh, several humans are stuck underground in a bunker. Yeah. And they're just trying to survive from zombies. You see there's a there's a subplot with the doctor trying to... Uh, do something, Frankenstein. Yeah, Dr. Frankenstein, yeah. yeah. He was trying to do something with zombies that I had never seen in a movie before. And honestly, I thought that was awesome. Yeah, I thought it was very fitting they called him Frankenstein because the one zombie, Bub, that mm-hmm. almost becomes, like, not sentient isn't the word, but... He was pretty sentient. Yeah, yeah. well, th- that's what I mean. They're all sentient. Yeah, that's but, true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he he be- develops an intelligence, and it almost felt like Frankenstein's monster. And like, he was creating him. He was learning he as was, he was going. Yeah, it was misunderstood yeah. by Rhodes, the, the main antagonist of the movie. That's true, yeah. And I forgot that was his name. Um, 
this was I, I thought it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I, I love the direction they went in. Yeah, uh, more so because. This didn't really focus too much on the zombies. Yeah, it was the human um, element. It, it was. Yeah. A lot of them were stuck underground. Most of the time, they're talking to each other. And a lot of just tension. Problems. There a lot were of tension. tons of tension. Yeah, the yeah. army. That, that main guy, Rhodes. I don't what understand was going why on with they that didn't guy. shoot him in the very beginning when he threatened to kill him. He was uh, he was so unhinged. and like yeah. <laughs> Someone that crazy, man. I would have rather taken my chances in the zombie world. I would have <laughs> left that night in the helicopter. Yeah. yeah. You would have thought. Uh, yeah. it's, but uh, it, it was... Uh, like I said, it was very good. Uh, it was. The the learning element was something that I've never seen in zombie movies before, and it was something you that you still don't. Like, you you even, still don't. Yeah, exactly. It's the All first this time. movie, and it feels like the only exactly. only series is George Romero's Dead series to have that. Absolutely, any yeah. any movie I can think of that really had the zombies learn, and and other other uh, franchises have teased that. When you look at The Walking Dead, I know there's a scene where the doctor is actually sitting there trying to. Um, Make a zombie remember who who somebody was. Yeah, but this took but it, it t- this took it a step. It, it, it did fail. So this took it a step further. Yeah. It actually remembered. You know, and that scene was so great when he's holding the gun and he sees Rhodes. and yeah. he shoots him. He saluted and yeah. everything. Yeah, like, he saluted. It was amazing. Yeah, and uh, it, it it was it was in such danger of becoming so goofy. But it didn't. It, it didn't. It didn't it come was, off that yeah. way. It wasn't like a trained pet or anything. No, it, it, they yeah. they kind of tried to make it seem like that, but. If you, there was definitely it was. I, I think a lot of it was the way he portrayed the zombie. Yeah, the actor did a pretty he, good job. And he, he could, you could see it in his eyes mm-hmm. that you know it was like he was remembering as he was going. And I thought that was I was and like how the jaw movement thing was going on. Yeah, that was it, crazy. It, it was like he was trying to work out. Jaw. Yeah, it was yeah. Crazy. That was very strange. Uh, very cool uh, end scene. Yes. Uh, all, the, all the zombies in, invading the bunker and everything like that. And the one thing that did bother me. Okay. When the elevator was going down, there's a big elevator in the bunker yeah, that goes down yeah. to let people in. For tanks and, and such. Exactly. Whatever that's down there. There was all the zombies standing on the platform. And as and it's they going didn't down, fall off. Nobody yeah, fell yeah. off. They waited until it safely it landed, really and then all yeah. the zombies <laughs> That was pretty goofy scene. It was very strange. And then, yeah. like, when it's a foot away, one zombie trips. And I was like, oh, that's it. Exactly. I was, I was expecting, was, like, almost World War in. Z, like, just really, yeah. like a tidal wave of zombies. It, it could be because I watched World War Z right before I watched that. That is true, yeah. <laughs> so I kept thinking about it. But, yeah, it was... To just stay there, they're like, okay, this is our stop. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so if you had to give any really uh, final thoughts or anything like that in a rating, what would you give it? Well, I really enjoyed this movie for um, sort of almost reinventing the zombie genre. It was more about the humans this time. Um, I would give it a probably a, an eight. eight. I liked it, yeah. Okay. Um, I I thought roughly the same thing, okay. um, really. Uh the human element was nice. It was refreshing to kind of focus on the people. And a lot of these people you did care about. Yeah. Uh, the woman was awesome, for example. Uh, and the, the, the main heroine, yeah. I mean. And uh, just several of the characters were very likable. Mm-hmm. So as you're sitting here, you're rooting for them. So overall, I'd give it an 8 uh, based on the human element. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. So anyway, this has been Joe Ramsey. That was Ben Otero. And that was Day of the Dead. Hi, this is Joe Ramsey. This is Ben Otero, and uh, this is going to be Movie Mania. We're going to be talking about Zombieland, as you can see here. And the uh, basic plot of the movie really is going to be a group of four survivors mm-hmm. fight their way through the zombie apocalypse. They're trying to get to Los Angeles, where a theme park is rumored to be zombie-free. And uh, uh, first of all, I want to get your initial thoughts about Zombieland. I really enjoyed this movie. The way they married the horror genre into the comedy genre with some zombies and stuff. Well, let me rephrase, let me rephrase that. <laughs> well, no, it, it's, yeah. I, I, I agree with that. But I, I want to take that a step further with you, though. Because if you've noticed, over the yeah. years, the zombie genre has changed. It's not a genre anymore. It's a topic. And other genres have started to kind of Leading take over. It, yeah. Exactly. When you see Zombieland, you see movies like Shaun of the Dead, uh, Ed, and things like that. Uh, they're comedies. They're not. Yeah. They're not zombie yeah, movies. Exactly. They're comedies. And now you see like Warm Bodies coming in, which is uh, making it a yeah. Twilight film. You know, uh, a version that's of Twilight. the. Main, I don't like that movie. But whatever. <laughs> but it, it is still a zombie movie yeah. that, that's transcending genres. And now this is a comedy. You know, exactly. It's, it's just about zombies now. Um, I, I thought the, the the cast was all great. It, uh, that's what made the movie. It did. Like, it felt like you had to have these. These characters, I agree. Cast the as this, the dynamic know. between them was perfect. Oh, great! Yeah. Woody Harrelson did an amazing job. He was my favorite character in the movie yeah. by far. Tallahassee, uh, rough, uh, not scared of anything. Exactly. His only goal in life at that point was to eat a Twinkie. Twinkies, man. Twinkies. That's where it's at. That's, at least for this guy. 
<laughs> exactly. He hates snowballs, as we find out. The I know. Movie. I like snowballs. <laughs> yeah. Not the taste; it's the texture. Exactly. That was the, that was, that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I don't know why I remember yeah. that. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg did a great job too. Mm-hmm. He was very scared of everything, and he he seems like that character. And maybe it's because this is the character. first movie I've ever seen him in. Yeah, it, it really um, got him into almost typecasting as like the nerdy guy. Sort of. he, he's, yeah. he's very similar to Michael Cera in that way. Exactly. I, yes. Yeah, and which is interesting because on the tagline it says uh, "Super." Uh, what is it? Super, Super bad, bad meets, meets Shaun of the Dead. Dead. Yeah. So there you go. Michael Cera meets Jesse Eisenberg. Exactly. But uh, and he's a new Lex Luthor. Remember that? Uh, we wanted Heisenberg, not Eisenberg. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Emma Stone did a great job. Abigail Breslin both did yes. great. Um, it, this is this is a movie that. Uh, it resonates. It, it resonates was. It was. Me. It yeah. was a zombie like road trip. Had an excellent road trip game. comedy with zombies. Yes, that's a good with way to put Bill it. With Bill Murray mixed in. Yes, you can't exactly. go wrong. That's with Bill Murray. That was an excellent cameo for him, by the way. Which was really weird. They sort of introduced them in like a goofy way, which is fitting because it's Bill Murray, of course. Yeah. And then. Like, they just sh- kill him off. I was like, what? wait, what? I thought it was genius. It no, was it made so, so much sense, but it, it just... It, <laughs> it was, was unexpected, yeah. you know? And it was it was cool to see that... I don't he It was... It was that was another way of doing it to survive the zombie apocalypse yeah. that he brought up was, oh, I just, you know, have the makeup on. I look like, obviously, it was yeah, comedy, exactly, so it was yeah. kind of out there. But he's like, oh, I just went and saw Van Halen. He was a zombie. Yeah, Playing golf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was that was a great great part. Uh, if you had to give any really final thoughts to this or anything like that, and a number rating, what would you give it? I'd give it a seven. I liked it, mm-hmm. and um, I've watched it a couple times, and that's about it. You would know, you recommend it to anybody else or anything like that? Is it one of those movies that you could watch over and over again? Yes, it is. Um, I found it. I, I laughed every time I saw it. The jokes didn't get old, at least to me. Yeah. Um, I love the clown scene. The clown, clown scene, zombie, yes, yeah, the clown that zombie. Was great. Yeah, and yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it. Very cool. It's a really good movie. Awesome. I, I uh, fi- my my final thoughts would ultimately be, uh, uh, I, I'm you. Re- this originally started out as a TV show pilot. I hope you realize that. And uh, yeah. I'm a little sad they didn't follow up on it, but I feel like they wouldn't have gotten the characters that the were there The TV show is actually, they actually tried to do that on Amazon. Yeah, it, it wasn't, it wasn't great. Yeah. Yeah. It, it deserves it's these the characters. It's the cast, man. It is the cast, but uh, overall, I'd probably give it an 8. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Anyway, this has been uh, Joe Ramsey and Ben Otero here on Movie Mania talking about Zombieland. Hi, I'm Joe Ramsey. This is Ben Otero, and we're going to be talking about Cabin in the Woods here on Movie Mania. This movie is amazing. I'm just going to say that to begin with. What are your thoughts? No. I didn't like it. I I, I really didn't like it. It was... And, you know, for what it's worth, it was the classic slasher movie in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was something that... uh, I, I really, it was cool. It had an to evil it. dead feel. Had a, a Friday the Thirteenth feel. Exactly. Cabin fever. Bunch of co-eds just going to the woods. Is it because it was in a cabin. Yes. <laughs> but as as you start going, you start to realize you know something's going on. Um, the main plot to it really, mm-hmm. it, it very it very it's, much is just yeah, cool. it's great. Teenagers go yeah. to a cabin and then just you can't really go any further because something totally unexpected happens. Yeah. The best part of the movie, I feel, the twist. Great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's one of those ones that I, as I watched it, 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 it got progressively worse to me. It got to that point where, you know, Chris Hemsworth did a great job. All, all the cast did great. They did great playing yeah. their own stereotypes because that's what it was supposed to be. And the stereotypes tie in majorly to the plot. And I they thought do. that was great. They addressed everything in the horror cliche bandwagon. And that's that they true. Have going on. Yeah. I, I got to give them that because they did. They, they totally dissected the horror genre oh, very man. much. And poked at it, made fun of it. Exactly. Yeah. While while making, like for a horror buff myself, mm-hmm. while making it really enjoyable. And I just, I really enjoyed that. I did up until a certain point. Mm. Uh, it was uh, first of all, but I want, I want to get to the dome first. That there was the big dome that was over the whole thing. I thought that was weird because, you know, you you got to the point in the movie where uh, you're starting to see the little things happen. Yeah. Uh, like a little nozzle comes out, and the guy like smells, I guess, the chemicals or something, mm-hmm. and he starts to like almost like mind control. Yeah. But then it was all like subtle, subtle things that was making it happen, and then you get to. But it's the dome. Set, yeah, but it's set up so well because in the beginning of the movie, it almost begins like an episode of The Office. There's like these two guys who are just and that's true chilling, and it's like, wait, am I in the am I in the right movie? Well, it did, but you don't think the teens would have noticed something that like as soon as they, the dome appears, you know, like no. Was... If you think about later into the movie, mm-hmm. they've been influencing these um, kids. They put the weed. They take they um. Messed with his weed. They messed with the blonde hair. That's right. Yeah, they yeah. messed with everybody. She wasn't hair. a dumb blonde to begin with. They dyed her hair blonde. That's right. I forgot about That's that. Such yeah. a, oh, That's such an oh man. But uh, if you if overall, um, I just I did not think it was. 
I just didn't care for it. Really? It, it, Why? It was, it was just like I said. It's so there, good. There's there's a main twist which obviously we can't talk about because it, it ruins the whole movie. But it once you hit that twist, the movie took such a downturn for me. It, I, I thought it went up. You, spoilers, but you get to see like every monster ever created. Yeah. And for a monster buff like me, that's like heaven. I mean, I, I'm I'm a huge fan of the Universal monsters and things like yeah. that. You know, all that different stuff. But this didn't do it for me. Like this, I, I didn't like that they were set up like that's that. That's crazy. I like the more freedom behind what they were, what the mon- monsters are supposed to mean. This to me was just very. It was different. I, I commended okay. on that, but it was just very very. Dull the way they handled it. The end result, I, I already expected what was going to happen. I, I mean, once I saw what was going on, it's like, okay, this this needs to go on. But then it got to the point where um, uh, it was just dull. So anyway, if you had to get any final thoughts or number, what would you get? I'm going to go really high on this. This was my favorite movie of 2011. I really enjoyed this. I've watched it many times, watched the commentaries, just really delved into the lore, if mm-hmm. that's even a thing. Yeah, this I'm sure it is, yeah. And um, I'm going to give it a 10. It's one of my favorite movies. Really? Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Oh, man. I uh, once, we, once, we got to the, once we got to the halfway point, uh, it dropped. It dropped like a brick. Like, I, I, I got to the, there was a part in the movies where I just said, I, I can't stand this anymore, you know. And I, I almost couldn't finish the movie. Uh, once it got to that point, did it for me. So, overall, 3 out of 10. Anyway, I'm Joe Ramsey, and that was Ben Otero. We were talking about Cabin in the Woods here on Movie Mania.